In this tutorial, I will show you how to add and edit lines, which in Google Earth are called paths. Okay, we've been doing a little bit of habitat mapping in Google Earth, and we have uh, mapped some habitats at the Bellamy River Wildlife Management Area. So we've just opened up um, Google Earth, and uh, now that we have a folder here with uh, elements in it, we can, uh, to navigate to uh, that study area, we can just double click um, on that folder, and it will bring us right back to the study area. Last tutorial, we learned how to add and edit the polygons here, and in this tutorial, we will add the paths. So we're going to, uh, paths are, are, again, they're just basically lines um, that um, you can uh, influence the, the direction and the shape of, and you can make measurements um, for how long they are. Um, most typically, we might use paths um, to put to map trails or roads. Uh, and so let's go ahead and, and do that here. Let's, let's use a path to map this trail um, that goes um, from the parking lot, end of the parking lot area road, um, through this field. So we're gonna first again, make sure that our ne the next element we add goes into the Bellamy River folder. So we'll just click that. And then we come up here to say add path. And again, we give it a name. We'll just say trail uh, through field. And then um, let's just, we'll choose a different color. Um, we'll choose orange and click OK. And now, again, I could begin mapping here, but my ability to see that trail, you know, at this uh, extent of a zoom is pretty limited. So whenever possible, I like to zoom in not quite that close. I like to zoom in a bit here so I can really see what I'm mapping to make this as easy as possible on myself. Okay, and we'll start right here. And so here I am just going to, again, click and release just the way, just very similar to the way that we had drawn in the polygons. That's a pretty thin line. I'm gonna go ahead and actually change that line. I'll make this three for now, whoop, not 30. And we'll just keep mapping. Click and release, click and release. And again, I could uh, hold down the mouse to drag it along the trail. And in case, some cases that might work well. Um, again, I tend to not do that because it's really easy to, it, it can create an uneven line. Uh, and it's also very difficult to edit um, in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just delete and click at the last one I put in and just hit delete till I get back to right to about there. And then we'll then continue moving forward, just clicking and releasing. And in here, I want to be sure that my trail doesn't over, I want to be able to see um, a clear distinction between my trail line and the line uh, of this polygon that maps the field. So I want to be sure that there's no overlap there. So I might actually zoom in a bit more for that. Again, here we are looking through the trees. <clears throat> I can see that pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and just pull up a leaf off photo so I can see through those trees a little easier. And we will, here we'll go ahead and mark, there's a split in the trail, we'll go ahead and mark this as the main trail. All right, and so we'll zoom back out here. So with that, we'll actually go ahead and, and list this as the, um, we'll label this as the main trail. And we'll click OK. And so now we can, um, similar to the polygons, if we wanted to edit that, we can just come back and click properties. And again, we could edit the, the, the color or the width there. I'm happy with, with how that looks overall. And again, we can get a measurement here. And so again, that, that trail that we just laid in is, uh, five, uh, is 0.58 miles in length. 
click OK. And so um, now we have um, another trail that's uh, kind of a, a spur trail that cuts off for here. So we'll go ahead, let's go ahead and lay in um, one more path that um, shows this secondary trail. So again, uh, make sure this comes into Bellamy River, come into Add Path, we'll call this um, Spur Trail. Maybe we want this to be a different color, or we'll keep it, we'll, um, we'll keep it the same color, but we'll make this, this trail um, a different width. Kind of a secondary trail and again we want to make sure that this connects directly to that last trail we'll come right here use our crosshairs and then drop this in and we'll click ok and or we'll see let's see that spur trail is 0.22 miles okay just dragging the screen and then let's go ahead and put, um, we'll map this primary road um, that comes in here as well. And we'll make that a, um, actually, you know, I realized that the, the gate for, um, here's a parking lot and then there's a gate. And so the actual trail starts right about here. So let's go ahead and extend the end of this trail that we mapped um, back to um, that gate. I don't think we can see that on the map, but that's okay. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Oh, there's a gate right there. When we zoom in close, you can see it. The gate that goes across the road. Okay, so uh, this is the, the first uh, main trail um, path that we want to edit. Again, we'll right click this and hit properties. And so I want to um, extend this here. And it's not going to let me do that. What it's doing is it's actually dropping in lines um, behind here, and that's fine. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to leapfrog these back into place. So I'm just grabbing these existing vertices and just dragging them to where they need to be. I'll add one more right here. Let's see, where did we make it? Almost to the trail. Click there. So when I click here, it's actually going to add one here. Oop, it added one way back there. Let me delete. Two. All right. And we'll click OK. And then let's add in, let's put this road in, uh, the driveway in. We'll use a path for that as well. So we'll come to add path. We'll say driveway. We'll have this be white. And we'll have this be thicker. We'll put this at five. So we'll start at the road. it right up to there and click OK. One additional thing that we often would use uh, paths for when we're mapping is to uh, delineate uh, or to identify uh, streams. And so there's a stream that comes out um, of this little pond. Um, it comes down here into, um, actually flows into Great Bay. So let's um, let's put a stream in right there. We'll zoom in close. And again, here is where, uh, in this case, if we were to use the leaf on photos, it'd be very, very difficult um, to see the stream pass. So we're going to come to the leaf off photo and just do the best that we can to indicate where the stream flows out, um, flows through this dam and out down into into um, the river at the creek. So again, we'll use a path, and we'll we'll just call this the um, creek. 
And anytime that we are mapping the uh, mapping streams or rivers, we often will use uh, blue to indicate that. Uh, so blue blue lines on maps. Um, most most folks that have experience with maps are going to interpret um, blue lines as streams. And so, as a general rule, I usually reserve um, using blue lines specifically for streams. I don't use blue lines for anything else um, other than streams, just to uh, avoid confusion. And then I'm just going to approximately follow this stream channel. I'll click OK. And that's a little thick, so I'll go ahead and make that thinner. And most folks who are familiar with maps, um, most many streams will actually be put in as um, dotted lines or non-continuous non lines. Um, this is, again, an unfortunate um, thing about Google Earth is that Google Earth only allows you to draw solid lines. So the only thing that we can uh, edit with, with regards to paths is their color and their weight, but um, Google Earth only allows us to draw solid paths. All right, so go ahead, let's come back over here. We'll shut off all of our polygons so we can see our paths a little bit better. And there's our individual paths. And so, um, again, pretty straightforward. Again, if we want to shut the entire, um, all of the layers off in that folder, um, we can just shut the folder off. And I see that that creek um, actually didn't get put in the Bellamy River folder. It's outside of it. And the way that I see that is because when I shut the folder off, the creek stays on. So that's easy to fix. We can come down here to this and we'll just click this and we can just drag it um, where we want to. Um, really anywhere we want to, but we'll just put it into that folder. So now when we shut that folder on and off, everything that we've drawn um, is in there. So again, we'll just shut off the polygons. So in this lesson, we learned how to um, add and edit paths. And um, in the last lesson, we learned how to add and edit polygons. And so as a result, we're I'm currently making a pretty hideous looking map, <laughs> but uh, uh, in, in other lessons, I'll show you how we'll clean this up to make it a, quite a bit more presentable, um, As but we're just going through here to figure out how to add the different elements into our maps.